All right, got a ray, rock the wheels. Gonna take apart the RST, open it up and show you some of the small issues that we've had so far. So one of the first issues we actually had uh, was with the pedal hangers, or the rods, you wanna tell them? Yeah, um, apparently now they put, oh good, this one has it. They're putting uh, Loctite for some reason and they're putting a lot of Loctite so the rod doesn't come out easily enough. Um, in case of Brian's, we actually had to get a hammer and hammer it out for a couple of minutes before the rod finally came out. And then you have to clean the, uh, the Loctite uh, in order to be able to take it in and out easily enough. Uh, also, the, the pedals that come with the RS uh, wheels are very flat. This uh, is uh, Merlin's shims that he has actually made. There's a, it's a thickness of, I, I believe, 1 16th or less, I, I can't remember. But it makes the pedal have that angle that uh, a lot of people that ride trails like. If you don't put this shim, then the pedal is going to be about this angle, very flat. And none of us like it, so Marilyn came up with this shim in order to give us the same. So that's the first thing we noticed. All right, so we pounded out Frank's rods, and now uh, he's going to take apart the shell, so we'll come back once the shell's off. Ready? Yep, go ahead. When you go to uh, pop the top off, Gotway uses double-sided sticky tape on the uh, batteries so even though you have taken all the screws off as you can see there is resistance don't be scared it is that double-sided sticky tape just move your hand around and put some pressure and it will come off this is the only thing that sticks to the inside of the shell okay <clears throat> Here we go. Here's the first problem. Well, it's not a problem. Uh, there's a fan here. Let me show on this side. Uh, and uh, as you can see, they've put tape on top. So when the shell is on and you, let's say you go one footed on the right side, you're putting a lot of pressure on that shell which presses on this fan and you can hear um, uh, the fan noise because you are deforming the fan, I suppose, with that pressure, so you hear the blades. Uh, I had that on mine, I opened it up and I took these guys off. And on mine, there was also uh, I think they had routed one of these cables over the top of these guys. So on mine, it was really bad. You see, he had wires pinching it as well. Uh, so for everybody that has that fan noise, when you put pressure up against your right leg, when you get on the wheel, or our... By the way, if you're yeah. working on, on the wheel, I suggest you unhook and disconnect power i don't but you know <laughs> highly recommended yes because if you drop a screw or something on here then you're done yep. um <clears throat> now, frank must have put this back okay so quite a few people have said that they have heard that same fan noise so definitely take off your side panel and take a look and make sure you don't have the wires that are over the top of that fan and then do like he did and, and remove the extra. Um, what I did on mine, right. What I did on mine, I got a uh, strip of uh, duct tape about the same width as the fan. You don't want it sticking over and getting inside the blade. And I ran it alongside the fan and up to about here to keep everything away from the shell. So 
guys with a fan noise issue, I suggest you do that. Yeah. And this is Frank's wheel. He had the noise issue and he didn't have any of the wires over the top of his like Ray did. So just with that extra, um, what was that padding? Some kind of yeah, tape it's that the they same had type on it. of yeah. padding they use. Just there. that extra thickness is what did it. So uh, obviously that much is not ne needed. Okay. All right, anything else you want to uh, tell anybody well, right now? Well, there is other things. Uh, on my wheel, when I opened it up, I heard a... Uh, oh, you had a loose screw. I had a loose yeah. screw. Or a screw <coughs> that was not even in there. <laughs> right. On the other side, on the left side. Oh, left side, okay. Um, I opened it up and found out it was a screw that holds the... Uh, uh, what is this? The trolley, the trolley handle, handle. Uh, connector had come out. Uh, yeah. it, it was too short. Uh, they had put silicone on top of it to stop it from coming out, but obviously didn't do a good job. So I took care of that also. My suggestion to everyone is when they receive a wheel to take it apart and check it out um, to see if there are loose screws uh, or, uh, you know, uh, wiring that is in the way. I, I suggest you all open your wheels and check it all out. If you know what you're doing, if you don't know what you're doing, then find somebody who's done a video on, on the wheel and, and learn. My suggestion is learn how to work on your own wheel. Um, because your life is basically, uh, in the hands of whoever put this wheel together. So if you trust them, great, don't check it. If you don't trust them, which you shouldn't, it is my opinion to open it up and check everything out. But so far we found out the biggest issue <coughs> has been the, the fan. So make sure you turn your wheel on let it get to a hundred uh, between a hundred and a hundred and four degrees the fan should kick in on uh, mario's uh, wheel um, the fan couldn't have ran uh, couldn't have been running because they had put silicone here on the edge of the fan and the battery compartment and they had put so much silicone that the silicone ha was actually stopping the blade from running uh, so uh, the, the, the fan basically the motor dies because it is trying to run and it can't uh, so my suggestion is open up your wheel check to see if the fan is free running if it is, then let it get to 104 degrees and see if it is turning. If it is, great. Um, then check for loose screws and uh, wires that may be getting crunched. They may have put your wire on top of the uh, fan which they had on mine. And with all that pressure, uh, it is going to uh, maybe remove the insulation and then you'll be uh, in trouble so that's it for the time being when we find out other things uh, uh, we'll let you know but so far this wheel has been great apart from these little uh, assembly line errors so yeah yeah hey guys get your wheels contact ray at rockin wheels there's a phone number for you